Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can insert an image in a Joomla 3 website and have that image move and flex with your article such that it never exceeds the boundaries of the article if the article appears somewhere else in your website. And let me show you what I mean. If I go into an article in the back end editor, although this works in the front end editor too, you'll see a standard article here and you'll see that it has no image in it at the moment. If I'm going to place my cursor right at the head of the image, in normal blog style an image will appear at the head of every article and that's what I'm going to do here. Now I could go to this editor button which says insert edit image but it has a problem in the standard editor because it unless you know where your image is it's not really helping you to find it. You need to go elsewhere and underneath the editor box you'll see these, Im these uh, menu items here and this image button is much more helpful because it shows you a file structure. So here are my folders with all kinds of images in and I know that in the slideshow folder there's a, an image that I want to grab. So let's say I pick this one called Fan. You'll see it's placed the um, destination file there. I don't need to do anything else. I just need to click on it and do insert. And there's my image. Tremendous. But there is a problem with this image. I mean, I can't use it as it is. And the problem is uh, expressed when you actually go and have a look in here. If you go into tools and look at the source code. Now, I know some people like to avoid the source code, but really it's quite instructional. You'll see image source and there's the uh, image des uh, file destination. It doesn't show anything else to the browser about that image. And whilst the problem with is that whilst that image looks fine in this situation, the image has a fixed width. I mean, the image has a size, and that size in this particular case is 940 pixels. And that's great so long as you need it to be 940 pixels. But you'll see that I'm uh, extending the window here. Um, it starts to go wrong as soon as the window gets wider. Indeed, if the window gets narrower, my image is now going to start flowing outside of the box. So I need to find a solution to that. I need to find a way for my win my image to flex as the uh, window that it is placed in it changes. And what I do is go back into the source code and actually type in some code here. So this is a CSS style that I'm going to be applying. So I'm going to do style equals quotes. And then within the quotes, I put uh, width colon 100 percent semicolon. Great. Let's see what happens now. Well, nothing. So it seems. But actually, now that I've told it to be 100 percent, you'll see that as the window gets smaller, my image gets smaller too. And where this really works is if you're using your articles and they're also showing in module positions that are smaller or they're being blown up to a headline position or they're all of a sudden in blog listings which are two columnar, your image is now going to move and, and change to flex to uh, reach that to meet those new uh, parameters. You don't need to do anything. It's all automatic. Because what you've said is, I want it to be 100% of the width of the allowable space that it can be in. It's going to be the same width as your text beneath it. Okay, so I'm not quite done here because there is one other problem. You'll see that between the bottom of the image and this first word, the spacing here isn't quite as the same as between the two paragraphs. And that's to do with a thing called the margin between the two. And I can also edit that just to make it right. And it's also in this uh, same thing. You'll see image style with 100% semicolon. And I'm now going to put margin bottom colon 10 pixels semicolon. Da -dum. And now the spacing is right. So the image doesn't go straight into the words. And now I'm happy. Everything's done.